everybody and welcome back to Koi Pond Lifestyle. So what day am I supposed to release my videos on? Friday. And what day am I not supposed to release my videos Thursday. on? Thursday. Thank you very much. You can now go. So what have we got on today? First of all, feeding. What is going on with feeding? Pond temperature. I'm back up to just over 10 degrees. So I'm feeding again. I started putting some more food into the pond because it's over 10 degrees now and I feed above 10 degrees. I, Thank you very much for your comments, by the way, about everyone that feeds below 10 degrees. Very interesting. I'm having a double think about this now, and I'm not sure. Do I follow that under 10 degrees, or do I leave it where it is? Right, so what else we got on today? Remember the giant ship? Got that to do today as well. We're going to um, fashion it and make it different and make it fit into the little window here. So let's crack on with that. Right, so if you remember, right, Stevie down the road, bless him. Thanks, Stevie, again. Okay, but it's not a giant ship. I went to watch the other video, I thought, that looks like a giant chip. No, it's not a giant chip, it's some uh, foam mattress uh, from Stevie's old bed. He is a bit bigger than this. This is only a bit of it, he's not, he's not like two foot tall. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've just got to uh, make this fit a bit better. So we chuck it in its hole, got a bit of a pen, we're going to mark it out of where it goes to. Hey there. Okay, so we measured it out now a little bit. So all we've done really is just measured round, around the frame itself. Now, a few of you were saying, when you get all of that Kingspan stuff, good idea. Just I don't know where any of that is at the moment. So sort of, somebody said, keep your eye on the skip, in the local skips or, you know, around wherever. But um, no, I've not seen any yet. And it's quite expensive to buy. So I'm, I'm going to go with this because I found so I've got some plastic to cover it and make it waterproof and I get it hang. But again, you know, don't knock it until you've tried it. Let's let's give it a whirl, get it shaped, see how it goes, and then uh, away we go from there. All right, so we're going to get cracking with uh, cutting this up. Um, well, it cuts dead easy as well with this. I've got one of the biggest kitchen knives out. I'm sure my wife will be impressed. Look at that, it's like butter. this way instead. Fantastic! So that's not the bit. That is the bit. It's going to check its right size. Just needs a little bit trimming off the end. Only about three quarters of an inch. Check that. So yeah, look at them all, all lined up, ready to eat. Um, pond temperature 10.8 today. It was eight point something when I made the last video. So. You go better than for you there, mate. So yeah, the food's going back in uh, until it's under 10 degrees, because it's now at 10 and look, they're just up, ready to feed, wanting food. Right, man cave bit again. Got the old one that you saw in the last film. This is the the bracket I used to hold it in place. So I'm gonna use this one as a means of holding this one on. Because really I've got the little hook things for the side that hook over the window. It seemed to work all right last time. So I'm gonna use the same thing Busted. So these are used as my brackets to hang it on to the window. This is just the, I'll use as a bracket to put it through. And let's see how that goes. So I've just got to suss which is the back and which is the front. Neither here nor there, I think. I'll probably go with the rough cut bit as the front. And the smoothie bit on the back, because it needs to be smooth against the window. Kind of makes sense to me. 
and these will just sort of hook onto here and then I've got to cover it in some sort of cover it in, in a I've got some plastic covering so I'm plastic so so it doesn't get too wet when it snows I wonder where that's going to be oh, can't be long now can it hey Alan up north you tell me when it's going to snow mate because I, <laughs> I know up, up north it's about what you're now about minus 20 Maybe you, get, maybe you find a place down down south. Live a bit further down here. <laughs> right. Got some plastic on. It's like wrapping up blooming Christmas present, this is. This is just to waterproof it, really. I've just kind of wrapped it in plastic. Nice and tight, like a giant Christmas present. Well, that's Missy's present sorted for this year. <laughs> Sorry, she doesn't watch his videos anyway, so. But the kids do, so sometimes the kids tell her. Cool. Oh, I tell you what I'm meaning to tell you as well. Penkoi. He's just closed for the winter, and uh, but you can still get stuff if you message him on Facebook. If you've got some emergency stuff, or if you're sort of stuck for something you can't find it, uh, or he's the man who has it, then just drop him a message on Facebook, uh, and he'll arrange to open the shop at some point and let you in and get whatever you need. Right, that's all covered up nicely now. That's going to be the back, this will be the front. Uh, all I've got to do now is fit a little bit more tape there. Somebody commented, you know, on one of my videos. Hi Andy, I've been watching a number of your videos and I've concluded that you have very deep pockets and very short arms. Oh, I can't reach any money. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> like father, like son. My dad always used to say, don't spend it unless you have to spend it. Spend as a last resort, and if you can't afford it, don't buy it. Save up, then buy it. Don't ever go on credit. That's my old man, bless him. <laughs> right, so this is uh, sorted nicely. Like I say, all we've got to do now is fit on. Through there. That's it. Right, so I've just got to fit my thing on. Where is it? So I've got to fit this on now. So is that the front or the back? That's the front. It's got to go on the back. It's got to go here somewhere. It's got to go two and a half inches. It's got to hang a little bit, I don't want it to... Uh... Yep. There we go. Well, that's got to find some way of... Uh... Attaching them onto there. Because the other one was just in case of putting these bolts through. But these are obviously a lot shorter. So what I've decided to do is... Use the existing from the original window cover. Um, cut some doweling so that the bolts that I'm going to put through the whole lot, because don't forget it's, it's foam, will go like that and that will stop that. Squeezing the foam when I do it up. You'll see in a minute. So, anyway, let's crack on and get some stuff done.
Right, there we are, done. Um, brackets fitted on the back. This will now hook onto the window itself. Yeah, I think uh, quite chuffed with that. It should fit quite well. All we've got to do now is uh, see if it fits. There. Yep, so there you go, fits lovely. So yeah, that'll do nicely, that will, as soon as the covers are back on, which isn't going to be for a little while longer, because the temperatures are just coming back up again. Okay, it's a bit chilly today, but like I say, pond's back up to 10 point something, I'm back feeding again, so I'm going to leave these covers off as long as possible, uh, and especially now I'm back to feeding, and see how things go. You never know, it might drop off real quick. I think Alan from up north said that, uh, I don't know if he speaks like by the way, but uh, <laughs> he said that we've got about seven to ten days of this. Mild weather coming up from the north, east, south, west. West, yeah, west, yeah. Coming up from the west for the next seven to ten days, then it's going to get cold. I can wait. And on that bombshell, thanks very much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe down the bottom. Like the video if you've liked the video. Ding the bell for notification and share it to all your friends. Thanks very much for watching. This was Quick Pond Lifestyle.